Welcome back to Open, everyone. It's now time for this week's Open Artist Spotlight. The Open Artist Spotlight is made possible in part with public funds from the Bronx Council on the Arts through the New York State Council on the Arts Decentralization Program. This week's artist is a New York City hip-hop artist striving to create music with a fresh perspective that makes his listeners want to party, all while reflecting his New York City roots. Uh, he recently collaborated with E.C. Salcero to release his latest single, single and video together. And here now to share more, we welcome Rob Sleaze. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. You Again. know, Rob, you know, I have the utmost admiration for you in uh, just sticking to your guns in just designing and creating your own music. Um, and, you know, I've, I've read uh, your bio and um, and I've, I've I know you, you know, and I've seen you develop throughout the years. And and I, I always have uh, just I always give my props to anyone who is just out there creating versus like just trying to become famous. Yes, and uh, I appreciate you uh, noticing that because uh, that is the phase now, you know, people do it for the fame. They're not actually doing it for the culture. And uh, I think within that, the, uh, the art can sometimes get lost in translation. Well, hip hop is <laughs> it's, it's really shifted and it's nice to see it shifting back though. Yes, I agree. It, and not necessarily through music, but through integrity and in, in, in verses. I mean, there is still that other hip hop, uh, you know, I guess, what, what, what are they, like categories of hip hop? Yeah, I mean, now. there's a lot of sub, <laughs> yeah, sub categories and mumble rap and things like that. So, uh, you know, it definitely is finding its way back in New York is certainly, uh, you know, getting its sound back and getting the support that, uh, you know, from the major DJs that, that, that it definitely was lacking for a while. So well, that's important. So, you know, in today's show, uh, as you notice, uh, everything is kind of geared towards uh, mental and, and just enlightening and just coming together and let's just all join forces and, and find a way to heal each other. And, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's what your video um, and this particular release, uh, it loans itself to. So let's yeah. talk a little bit about what that was for you. Um, uh, I guess joining forces with somebody who I guess was coming out um, in, into the gay community yes. and, and just mm -hmm. kind of like, hey, you know, it doesn't matter what you're into. It's, it's, it's all about love. You know, I see uh, a lot of uh, a lot of issue with a lot of artists, uh, especially in hip hop, is being comfortable in their own skin. You know, and I'm very comfortable in my skin. So for me to do a record with an artist like EC, uh, who is, you know, openly out, um, it doesn't make any difference to me. The, the main objective is making good music and coming together to make music that people can feel. Together was a record that was a little bit outside of my norm in terms of the music that I make. You know, I've done a lot of uh, hardcore stuff, a lot of party stuff, uh, some more provocative stuff. So uh, when we did this record, uh, I had to get into a different place mentally. And um, I'm glad that I did because uh, I think this is a really, really big record for us. I think it's a record that, you know, it's bigger than even just the Bronx in New York. I think this is a record that the world needs to hear, especially with what's going on, uh, you know, collectively throughout the U.S. and beyond. And so what was that like for you? Uh, who wrote the lyrics for this? We did. We you, both, you did them yes, together. We, we both did. And uh, so the first step, before we even shot the video, we actually had the luxury of performing it in Times Square in front of, I mean, 10,000 plus. Russell Simmons hosted the event. And just seeing that feedback from a record that people had never heard before. Because it's difficult sometimes to present a record to people that have never heard the record. They're not familiar with it. It's not being embedded in their head by the radio every single day. And the, the reception we got was just, it was insane. So we looked at each other and we kind of figured like, we, we got something here. And we need to kind of make sure that this is, you know, this is heard. Not to stop what we're doing in our careers collectively. But um, overall, this is a record that I think needs to be uh, pushed and heard. Well, in listening to it myself yesterday, um, what I got from it is like there's this collective consciousness happening with all of us right now. And for me, it's it's a beautiful thing. And that's the flip side to the other negativity that's going Correct. on, right? So Correct. we don't pay attention. I mean, not that we shouldn't be paying attention, but if we don't focus on what's going on on that negative side and we kind of like flip it and go, you know, at the end of the day, it's bringing us all together. That's and, and you created a new style of music for yourself because I've heard your music in the past mm -hmm. and it's quite vulgar. I mean, you know, and that's me being diplomatic. Some of it can be, <laughs> some of it can be. It's all good though, because again, we're talking about subcategories, and this is a, a, this was a total switch for you. Yeah, it definitely was, and a lot of the records that I'm making now are going to be uh, more in the crossover lane, uh, more party friendly. But uh, you know, the type of records that you can perform long term, you know, records that can be performed anywhere. I don't want to make a record just particularly for one 
type of people. I want to make a record for everyone. And I think we're, you know, we had a great start with this, with, uh, with this song, with Together. Well, um, I, I hope we're, I think we're going to play it at the end of this segment, but Great. I do want to know what your experience was like um, bringing everybody together to make this video because uh, it, it, it looked really, it looked really loving. You know, to be honest, it was, it was very natural. And I think that, that, that comes off in the, uh, in the video when you watch it. It wasn't forced. People got together, everyone there had a really good vibe, a really warm vibe. The record was playing uh, in the background as people kind of uh, congregated and talked. And, and um, I think it just fit the mood. Uh, it fit the mood really well because everyone understood what it was about. It wasn't concocted. I've been on the sets of a lot of videos and the director's yelling out, do this, do that, stop this, more of that. And this was kind of just, the director just kind of got to sit back and just chill because uh, it kind of took its own life. And, and so uh, before we go, I just want to just share with everyone uh, what you hope uh, this record will do or have uh, serve in, in this fusion because you brought a fusion style together also. Definitely. And so it, it kind of could have its own classic sound, which is what I, I'm what assuming for, you're sure. aiming for. Sure. But where do you see it going from now? Well, the, you know, the idea is definitely just to, uh, to, you know, not to be cliche, but to bring people together. It's awareness and it doesn't really matter what the awareness is for you, be it sexuality, be it racism, be it, you know, uh, our rights civilly, you know, all of these things, just to kind of wake people up a little bit and just kind of get them all on the same page. Like, it's not us against them. It's all of us together, you know, kind of trying to get through this. So, you know, the more we allow others and certain people to uh, separate us, you know, the harder it becomes for us to move forward as a people, as a race, you know, as humans. Beautiful, well said. Thank I you. always say we're one race. We're the human race. It's the way I see One it. love, baby. Woo, love. Thank you, Rob Solis in the Thank house. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, yes. Once again, for more Armed Solis, you can follow him on Twitter at Solis NYC. And that is our show today, mi gente. Thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you, our viewers, for tuning in. If you missed any part of the show, you can check out the Recablecast tonight and 24 hours a day at BronxNet.tv. I'm Rina Valentin. And from all of us here at Open, may the universe provide paz, prosperity, y amor. Adios, happy Cinco de Mayo, and stay blessed. Yes. One love. One love. Say we are only as strong as we are united and as weak as we are divided. All oh, this is wrong. Marvin said, turn on the TV, more innocent lives there Time that we should all come together instead People choose sides from the lies they've been fed Over against terror, we fighting lower color Separated instead of uniting with one another And talk is cheap, actions be louder Cause all lives matter, all lives matter If I can bring them all back, I will bring them all back Mr. President, I think I need a call back Take a look around us, we can't just ignore that We can't just ignore that no es a bien, unidos siempre en la guerra ardiente podemos vencer. We can't win this fight alone, we're much stronger together, finding peace within our home. We can overcome any weather. Are we ready to fly together? Are we ready to stay together? Are we ready to love together? It's time for us to come together. We must learn to forgive together so we can all live together to end all the hate together. Now let's all get together. If I can bring them all back, I will bring them all.